welcome back to my channel i know i am very late in doing this but this was like the only day that i could film this video so it's already march i wanted to do my favorites video for february so let's just get into that shall we i'm gonna start off with some food favorite foods of the month and like anything that, that has to do with food or health um We'll start off with yogi tea. You guys know that I love yogi tea. And last month's favorite would have to be the caramel apple spice slim life tea. Um, besides the fact that it smells really good and tastes really good, I feel like it's been helping me with um, just kind of like detoxing my um, my body. Also, I'm try. I I've been really good for like the past week. Like I I'm finishing up my first um, phase of my diet um, this coming Sunday. I've been staying away from sodas, juices, Starbucks, and coffee coffee bean, believe it or not. So um, yeah, so this kind of helps when I want something else to drink besides, you know, like water or lemon water. That I've been favoriting from last month um, is yogurt and um, it's actually a Greek yogurt and if you guys know me I do not like the taste of Greek yogurt I don't know just because it tastes sour and it's a little off to me and I'm not used to it but for some reason with this brand um, I really love it I think what also like disguises the sour taste is the almonds that they put in and the fact that the yogurt is flavored um, vanilla so this is like the only one that I really like to eat and it's the um, the Yopa Yo Crunch yogurt, Greek yogurt um, with almonds, vanilla flavor. So I'm pretty sure you guys can get that at any um, grocery store or something like that. I, I usually get it from um, like a Safeway. Health wise, uh, I have never done yoga in my life, and one day I just decided I'm gonna try it out. So I YouTube like a, a couple videos and end up um, loving yoga with Adrienne's channel so I'll link her thing down below if you guys want to check her out and learn some yoga moves but I mean I'm no professional like I do it when I have time just basic videos like um, videos for beginners and that's what I am so I like her channel she explains very well she's very like calming and I don't know it's just I like it I've been I've been doing a few yoga stuff um, last month, so yeah, you can check her channel out. <laughs> so next, I'll be moving on to favorite um, cosmetics and makeup stuff. Um, so I got this last month. It's Max Lip Liner in Staunchly Stylish, and this is a Pro Longwear lip liner. So Pro Longwear meaning um, it will not smear. So this is the color of it, and it's a nice like um, neutral like lip lip liner um kind of like my lips but better and what i love about this is that like it yeah look look at that like it's really hard to remove um once it well once it sets but i have been using this bad boy like every chance i get um when i went to go to the mac counter to purchase this i asked them um i wanted i asked them for a lip liner that i can use like for every day or for all my lipstick lipsticks just something that is universal so um, I ended up like loving this color and um, I'm really sad because I'm scared that I'm gonna use it all up because it's like $20 for this thing but it's a pretty color like I I even want to wear it just by itself because it's such a, like a nice like neutral like brown brown pink color like kind of like the Kylie Jenner lip thing that's going on so um, if you guys want to create that kind of look um, you guys can definitely check out this lip liner um, to help get that look. Um, I do have a makeup tutorial coming up that's inspired by Kylie Jenner, so be on the lookout for that. And I do actually use this product, so yeah. Next on the list is going to be a foundation, and this is the Rimmel London 25 Hour Lasting um, Finish Foundation. And mine is in 203 Pure Beige. Oh, sorry, True Beige. I've been loving the coverage of this um, foundation. It's a medium to full coverage, and it it um, it covers my blemishes and pores nicely when using the right um, brush and right application. Another pro to this one is that it has um, 
sunscreen but the con to that is that it makes my face look white like when I take pictures oh my gosh I look so white like I took a picture this was for we had a great Gatsby themed dinner um, with my co-workers and I ended up looking, looking like a vampire because like my face was so white <laughs> but other than that this is like a really nice um, really good foundation I love the coverage I love the application um, everything looks nice and smooth I didn't break out from this so I mean that's a plus so and for a drugstore um, price you can't go wrong so yeah next I'll be talking about my naked 2 basics palette I actually got this for a Christmas gift and haven't been able to like actually like you know play with it and use it till last month so um, if you guys are not familiar, Naked um, or Urban Decay came out with the Naked palette and they ended up coming out with mini um, palettes like that you can just bring on the go, like matte eyeshadows that you um, would usually use for like an everyday kind of um, look. So these are the colors here. I was kind of afraid at first because I wasn't sure if I would be able to rock these colors. These are more like kind of like gray tone, like you know, like and cool toned um, versus um, the Naked One palette or not Naked One but na Naked Basics so you guys look at the difference here this is the Naked Basics and the Naked Basics too so um, I mean I love my Naked Basics but I'm starting to love my my number two now so what's great about these is that you can actually use these eyeshadows um, in your eyebrow so like days when I don't want to use my um, my dip brow pomade by Anastasia in Beverly Hills. I like to use um, some of these shadows here. So I like to use um, like these two right here for my eyebrows. And then um, one of them is actually kind of like on the shimmery side. Well, not really, but most of them are matte. This one just has like a hint, like a tiny hint of like shimmer. Maybe it's more like a frost, but everything else is so pretty in here. Um, if you guys get a chance, I definitely recommend you guys trying out this palette or even the um, the first um, basics palette. It's just something you can bring with you when you travel. Something very compact and small. It really has a nice um, size mirror too. So yeah. Um, now moving on to fashion favorites. So. I've been loving to rock my floppy hat lately and this one is from Forever 21. I have to sneeze. Okay, it went away. Yeah, so if you guys don't know me by now, I'm very bohemian chic. I like to use these when I can. Um, so it's just a simple like black floppy hat. I feel like I have a weird shaped head so it doesn't look as cute on me as other people but yeah so I mean you can wear it like like that like how a lot of people like to wear them or you know just just like that but I've been loving this one I'm gonna have other hats that are really um that are similar but for some reason I like the shape of this one and how it looks um with my face and my hair so yeah. and favorite um jewelry pieces I have two so first off is going to be this necklace right over here actually that I am wearing. So what I like about this one is that it actually has a hint of gold and silver in there. So you get best of the best of both worlds. And I think what just attracted me to this um, necklace in particular was the stone. Like it's this nice periwinkle blue stone. And I feel like that's really in right now. Like the stone necklaces or like um, like the crystal like um, crystal clusters and stuff like that. So yeah that's what like sold me on this necklace was this um beautiful piece of stone on on here and then there's just a little tassel here so it's just like a nice like statement necklace to wear um the only thing i don't like about like layered necklaces like this is that they get tangled easily so that's the only downfall but i mean it's so pretty i couldn't pass it up so another necklace that I've been favoriting and it's also from Forever 21 and it's this one right here it's just something really simple like these two circles on a long gold chain and that's it I've been loving to combine this like with other shorter necklaces to have like that layered look but then I also like wearing this by itself and I believe this one was like 380 so it's like really cheap really cute like dainty 
simple geometric necklace, you know? So yeah, and I think this one's also like in a matte, matte gold finish, so yeah, I really like that. Alright guys, so another uh, fashion favorite would have to be these wedges that I actually got um, online. And there are these platform wedges from Bamboo, I believe the brand is Bamboo. Yeah, so just black, um, I think they're 3 inches and they're a little bit on the heavy side but they're so comfortable. I've worn them to work numerous amounts of times. I've worn them all day um, and I actually got this on um, an app called Vinted. So it's basically um, a bunch of girls um, posting stuff that they want to sell and if you guys want to check it out I'll leave a link down below where you guys can get $5 off your guys uh, first purchase on Vinted. Just have to sign up under my link. Um, I'm not too sure if you need to be... Um, signing up through the link and you can do it online or if you have to go through the actual app on your phone um, but if you guys are having any trouble let me know in the comment section below I'm pretty sure it's just through the link so you guys can just um, sign up through the link and then use a web browser but um yeah so I got these for I think uh, $17 and it came into me one piece it was brand new when I purchased it and on Vinted, it's it's pretty much um, a lot of stuff. Like there's new, new and unused um, items, and there's also stuff that's like worn a couple times. Like the the seller will let you know the deets on each item that they're selling. I did end up finding it on um, another website where you guys can actually purchase. So I'll, if it's still available, I will leave the link down below. But if not, then you guys. And try googling it I'm not too sure where else we might sell these but yeah so been loving these I think that completes my fashion favorites and then I do have one um one random favorite and it's actually gonna be this planner that I got from Walmart I got it on sale for like $2.50 um, I think it was on sale only because um this the dates in here started from last year of August I believe so last year August and then it finishes up this year so I just what I did was I just tore it all out because I really didn't need all that stuff in here confidential information what I like is that it has this pocket right here keep like your little notes um I keep like my stuff for work like my schedules and stuff like that and then I like that it has like these tabs here to let you know where which month to go to and stuff like that and then I like that there's enough room to write stuff, so you know, all this stuff right here, just like that. Let me see if I can bring you to the page. See, just like that. And I think having a planner definitely helps me stay organized, um, especially with like reminding me with important dates too. So I think that's why I really wanted to get one. I actually had a planner, um, but it was so big, like. Whenever I would want to change into like a, like a slightly smaller bag, it'd be too big. So I, I ended up trying to get something smaller and I found this at Walmart for like $2.50. So yeah. Alright guys, so that pretty much concludes my favorites video for February. I hope you guys truly enjoyed. And um, if you guys have any questions regarding the items mentioned in this video, feel free to comment down below. Also, I do love hearing feedback. If you guys have any feedback or if you guys want to tell me what your favorite item of the month was, let me know. Let me know. Leave a comment down below. That way I get to interact with you guys and I can probably try out some new um, products uh, for the future and they could possibly be in my next favorites video. But I am going to end this right now before um, this video becomes like 20 minutes long. Um, but I will see you guys um, 